Oh my god. When I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. Oh, that's adorable. I just had a dream. I dreamed it was my birthday. Aww. In the dream, the knight of flowers and his retainers found me. Oh, our oh, that's cute we as hell. finally found you. The people can't wait to meet you. The Subzerius festival began, and everyone smiled as they gathered around me. <sighs> Finally, I got back on the carriage and waved goodbye. When I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. I just had a dream. I dreamed it was my birthday. Retainers found. Oh, that's awesome as fudge. Oh, Archon, we finally found you. The people can't wait to meet you. The Subzerus Festival began, and everyone smiled as they gathered around me. Finally, I got back on the carriage and waved hey. goodbye. Damn, I hate it, Hoyoverse. I just had a dream. I dreamed it was my birthday. In the dream, the knight of flowers and his retainers. Why is it red? Come on, oh, man. Archon, we finally found you. The people can't wait to meet you. The Subzerus Festival began, and everyone smiled as they gathered around me. Finally, I got back on the carriage and waved goodbye. <sighs> when I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. It was... It was my birthday. Happy birthday, Nahida. I hate Hoyovers. I got baited so damn hard. I got baited twice. I saw the, I saw it repeat and I thought something bad was gonna happen. And then the most wholesome imagery ever appeared and it was us saving Nahida. And then they were like, ha, ha, ha. And they were like, oh, here's what actually happened, by the way. Ha, bro. <clears throat> this is what I cut out. The way they repeated the same line throughout the entire teaser, which is a callback to the main interaction we had with Nahida when we were all stuck in the Subzoatis Festival dream. Such a cool, that, that's such a small detail. That's just like, mwah, Jeff's kiss. Golden, golden good writing, man. Bro, with everything Kusanali slash Nahida has done for her people, and for her people to not even care about Kusanali besides like the very very devoted few just like could you imagine giving your absolute all to your people and all you want isn't tributes isn't sacrifices it's just their people's genuine happiness and safety that's it and it can't even get that. Cancel the sages. Sorry. When I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. I just had a dream. I dreamed it was my birthday. In the dream, the knight of flowers and his retainers found me. Mm. Oh, Archon, we finally found you. The people can't wait to meet you. The Subzerus Festival began, and everyone smiled as they gathered around me. <sighs> Finally, I got back on the carriage and waved goodbye. When I woke up, 
I was riding in a flower carriage. I just had a dream. I dreamed it was my birthday. In the dream, the Knight of Flowers and his retainers found me. Oh, Archon, we finally found you. The people can't wait to meet you. The sub Festival began, and everyone smiled as they gathered around me. It's just a dream, fam. Finally, I got back on the carriage and waved goodbye. When I woke up, I was riding in the flower carriage. I just had a dream. I dreamed it was my birthday. In the dream, the Knight of Flowers and his retainers found me. Oh, Archon, we finally found you. The people can't wait to meet you. The Sephiroth Festival began, and everyone smiled as they gathered around me. Finally, I got back on the carriage and waved goodbye. <sighs> when I woke up, I was riding in a flower carriage. It was... It was my birthday. Happy birthday, Nahida. That Winnie the Pooh like like princess fairy tale even the way that she gets like erased to like change positions to showcase it's like a crayon or like a color pencil right very childish and fairy tale like dude that is so good oh, the knight of flowers and his retainers found me and then notice you start the dream off there's a sense of respect as he's kneeling down at requesting you to take their hand, right? There's this second dream that I feel like is being implied Nahida would have had maybe when she learns of the identity of the Traveler and these specific people beginning to convene during the Archon quest. She probably had this dream like, oh my God, like these people might actually bring change to my nation, right? And 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 maybe a deeper desire to be saved. The Knight of Flowers and his retainer. We know that the Aranara called us child of Dandelion, because we travel a lot. Nothing related to the God of Flowers, as far as I'm aware. But I thought that was a really cool, like, flex of the writing. It's a call back to the r and &R quest, because they call us Child of Dandelion, because we we travel from world to world, right? That's that's pretty good. That's solid. And and here is where the flex begins of story writing in a 2 minute and 4, 50 second teaser, right? Uh, the first time she was found, she was greeted with loyalty and love. The second time she was found, she was greeted with respect and friendship. The third time she was found, she was greeted with neither, right? And it's a very take relationship, which they established in the beginning. When I woke up, I was riding in the flower carriage. This is the expression of a child that's being woken up in the middle of a dream forcefully. Whereas the first few times... I was riding in the flower carriage. Good night's rest, right? Little details like that that they convey without changing anything that's being said it's the same line that's being repeated bro that is that's beautiful storytelling right there without even saying a single word I was riding in the flower carriage colors are a lot less vibrant it's more I muted just had a dream i dreamed it. she's sad and then she's dreaming and we get this distortion in the back which is very similar to the same type of imagery they use for raiden a when she's thinking about her and her shadow, because she was the shadow of Makoto, right? Uh, in her and Raiden A's uh, character demo. And this is the same symbolism that we see a lot with like, um, we see this in Xiao's trailer, a lot of this type of imagery, but the color red and like this static dis disturbance in the, in the visuals. It was my birthday. And here, this just, I mean, for starters, the background is red. This could be a callback to the Archon War, right? Because we see a lot of red being symbolism to Marana, to the Abyss. Or not so much the Abyss, sorry. Uh, more so Celestia, right? And what really transpired 500, 
500 years ago, whatever the heck the secret that Celestia is trying to keep. If you look back in the Genshin Impact manga, we see Venti when he has a flashback of Celestia seeing people that have like these fancy cloaks on and they're kind of grayed out in their background sky is all red. This is the exact same imagery that we saw here. But this time it's not Celestia, assumedly so, it's the Sages. And they're also blacked out with a very red background. It's a trauma for Nahida, just like it was a trauma that ideally, assumedly, Venti is recalling in the Genshin Impact manga. Right. Oh, we found the Archon, let's observe her. And everyone's judging to see like whether or not she's worthy or if she has anything of value, right? And instead of kneeling, it's just going to pick up. The flowers and his retainers found me. Instead of requesting their hand and walking with them side by side, you grab. Oh, Archon, we finally found you. Y'all hear the chains in the back? Listen to this, listen to this. This is disturbing, dude. Oh, Archon, we finally found you. The people can't wait to meet you. The Sephiroth Festival began. And everyone smiled as they gathered around me. Finally, I got back on the carriage and waved goodbye. I mean, I don't know. He's kind of got a glorious mustache the way that the current Grand Sage does, but maybe it's a different guy. Too hard to tell. In my opinion. That looks like a czar. I feel like it could be a czar. He's got the glorious mustache. The first two dreams that were wholesome, she was riding in a flower carriage, like she says repeatedly, right? Kind of like uh, you're, it's a welcoming ceremony or a celebration, right? Uh, we use carriages for like the return of a king or a queen or uh, the wedding of a, a very, you know, uh, blessed couple per se. In this case, in this third dream, which is reality, how messed up is it that it looks like a flower carriage, but instead it's just a cage? That's kind of effed up. That's kind of effed up. They took the tradition of bringing the Dendro Ark on it into a flower carriage and instead changed it to a cage. Bro. Bro.